I have here one of my finest inventions, the world's slowest saw. With top speeds of one centimeter per hour for balsa wood, patent pending. For this project, I'm going to use one of these big HS422 servo motors because they're slow and high torque. These can be modified really easily for endless rotation. That's what I used on my 3D printed exploration rover, which currently holds the record for my least viewed video. But I'm not going to do that for this project because that would be too easy. Instead, I'm going to use an Arduino. And in keeping with our theme here, I'm using completely mismatched colors of heat shrink tubing. Someone say heat gun? I don't have time for that. I'm using my modified flamethrower barbecue lighter. And we all know the old saying, tighten until you hear the crack and then back a quarter turn. And I figured I should probably mount this on some sort of base, so I got this beautiful piece of mahogany here. Now we all know the story of Goldilocks and the three blades. The first one was too big, the second one was too small, but the third one, just right. And of course, this project wouldn't be complete without unnecessarily 3D printed parts, so I designed and printed this nice little blade guide. It's a little bit short though, so I'm going to use a piece of wood to bring up the height. Turns out these teeny tiny self-tapping screws from cheap electronics enclosures are actually coming in handy for once. Talk about setting the standard for quality construction. Very simple code, all it does is change the position of the servo from 15 degrees to 180 degrees, and it does a delay after each step. The potentiometer changes the length of the delay from 0 milliseconds to 50 milliseconds. I'll start off with a piece of styrofoam because if it can't cut that, I don't think it can cut anything. Now I've got a piece of balsa wood here. I figure that's an appropriate next step after cutting styrofoam. I'm also going to add a little bit of weight to the blade to speed things up a bit. Well, that only took 40 minutes and we're already through. This time I'm doubling up with a stack of balsa wood. Well, I'm afraid I have to call that a failure on account of my clamping mechanism breaking loose. Well, this next one might be a bit of a stretch. I'm going to try cutting through this giant piece of the finest Canadian spruce. I also thought of a better way to hold things in place instead of using masking tape. I hammered a tiny nail on the end here so I can just loop an elastic band over top. I also added these two big C-clamps to add some more weight to the blade. Well, it's been more than two hours and there's still negligible progress, so I'm going to have to call this one off. Now, I really want to see this thing cut through some metal, so I've got the softest metal I could think of. This is a piece of lead solder. 
Though I have to say I'm surprised, that only took about 15 minutes to cut most of the way through the lead. I'm not exactly sure the science behind this, but if you plug it in backwards, it'll fuse things back together. 